Okay, let's watch the most disrespectful moments in anime history. It is finally time for the most disrespectful moments in anime history too. Now you see, this one is gonna be a little different. So usually we would have multiple characters from multiple animes in the video. But today, we're gonna be focusing on one character. Now I know some of y'all are probably wondering, CJ, why are you only focusing on one character in this video? Well, uh, how do I put this? The man that we are about to talk about might damn well be the most disrespectful man in anime history. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, Yujiro Hanma is a wealthy black air force. Like dog, this nigga's on demon timing 24 seven. From slapping bitches to beating the fuck out of his own son. Nigga out here fighting a polar bear for fun. Like this man's nickname is the strongest creature on earth. Peep how they said creature instead of human. And I mean bro, they ain't capping. Look at this nigga. This man got 0.01% body fat. A jawline gifted from Jesus himself. His back is a literal second torso. You got a six pack on your back, nigga. Yeah, I understand why they call him creature now. Like, if you get compared to Bigfoot's fat ass, you you use literally just I don't know, nigga. You just built different on oh, some freaky ass shit. Oh, but I can hear some of y'all already typing in the comment section right now. Hey, hey, yo, CJ, why that nigga not at the round table yet, cuh? Listen, 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 listen. I know Yujiro has been the most requested person to be in the round table of Black Air Force activity, besides like guts. Well, you wanna know why it took me so long to do this? Because you see, this man has done so much heinous ass shit that I cannot give him a regular trial. Like dead ass, I would run out of exhibits. So I was like, all right, bruh. I'm just gonna have to give him a whole most disrespectful moments in anime history episode to himself. Cause this is the only way I could do it because it's gonna be a lot, bruh. Like I'm probably not even gonna be able to add everything on here. So anything I leave off, just tell me and I'ma just put them in other parts. So everybody sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, lace up your black ones and uh, let's get started. So to understand the philosophy of Yujiro Hanma's disrespectful ways, we have to go all the way back. So far back, the main character ain't even born yet. I'm talking about 1973 in the Vietnam War. This man was fighting in a whole ass war with his bare hands at the age of 16. Nigga, this is like the equivalent of running around in war zone with your bare fists and just beating the shit out of everybody. Like this motherfucker took guerrilla warfare to a whole nother level on some pure ass Rambo type shit. So while he's in Vietnam, he meets his girl named Jane and she out here trying to throw that ass back. She tried to seduce the hell out of this man. She like, you want to get laid nigga? Oh, you scared? Or maybe you still haven't experienced a woman yet. And look at this man. He like, uh, bitch, shut the fuck up. <laughs> then he just turns around and walks away, bruh. Man, it's like, I'm not about this bullshit today. But she still keep on running her mouth and talking shit. So the moment she turned around, this man Yujiro came right behind her back and said, Shall I tear your skull out right here? Homie was dead ass about to peel the skin off of this bitch. And look at her, she like, Damn, this nigga got two fingers in my mouth. Then this man just pimp slaps her like 20 yards, gave her a whole lecture, then walked out into the sunset. But nah, you thought this man was done in Vietnam? Nah, he was just getting started. This man goes on to kill a whole ass general on some covert ops type shit. And to disguise himself so he could enter the base, he ripped off the general's face and used it as a mask. So then this man just runs wild, just beating the shit out of him, killing every single person in his- Do you get why I love this show now a little bit more? It's like, it's like everything, Everything that this show does is completely fucking insane. Busting. I started talking about it in the beginning of today where I was like, this is, I love Baki because it's like, it's like a child's imagination. It's like every action is solvable by punching, including natural disasters. Like he literally punches earthquakes. The Netflix Baki is pretty good too. It's not like JoJo, but worse. No, no, no. There's like more. 
There's more shit in this than JoJo doesn't have. Ceilings and shit. Bro, he literally is wearing a another human being's face. What the fuck are you talking about? Jane pops back up and she's like, listen, nigga, I got some TNT and I'm about to blow this bitch sky high. So while they're escaping, Yujiro stops. She's like, what the fuck, nigga? Why you stop? And he just stands there and just eats the entire explosion. Then he pimp slaps old girl again and he figures out that she's a whole ass UN agent named Diane that's leading him into a whole trap. So she tried to kill him, but obviously, uh, that ain't gonna work, honey. So how did he make her pay for this? Uh, well, he gave her the every do with the healer treatment. So after he gives her the googlies, this man uses her as a body shield, then just kills everybody outside and breaks this nigga's neck with one hand. So all girl holds this man up at gunpoint, trying to kill him again. Do you see the googlies? Then this man flashed the whole demon back at her and just look at her face, bruh. Just in pure shock. She like, damn. I'm really about to have that nigga's kid. And ladies and gentlemen, that is how Jack Hama was born. Oh, but guess what? That was just the first son. Shit, we gotta go over how the main character was born. <clears throat> Meet Emmy, Baki's crazy ass, weird ass mom. Like, for all, I ain't gonna count this bitch is weird as hell. But ladies and gentlemen, she always wasn't a crazy ass bitch. No, no, you see, back in the day, she was in a very happy relationship with a rich nigga. She was enjoying her life on a honeymoon. So then that night, they go to a party, right? And guess who's there? Yujiro, staring her ass down while she with her mans at a party and look at her bro she is mesmerized it's like he's dicking her down with just his eyes so then the husband just sees her just straight up staring at him and then he just slaps her ass god damn in front of the party nigga so then this man confronts him <laughs> and he's talking mad shit bro, this dude is awesome dude his commentary is hilarious what the fuck <laughs> This is this show is just absolutely it's disrespectful, it's insane. It's, it's like awesome. your fashion sense, ass, your cut, ass, your shoes, ass, your demeanor, ass. Then he just throws a whole plate of soup on my nigga. So Yujiro's like, oh, you wanna get disrespectful? Alright, I could get real disrespectful real quick. So he just leans in and kisses his wife. So homie gets mad and he's like, all right, bro, I'm gonna let this dude handle you. But we all know th this nigga ain't gonna do shit. So Yujiro just gives him the nastiest axe kick and just drills his face into the ground. Just completely one shot at home. Embarrassing old dude even more and giving his wife the old giddy giddies. So then this man goes back to his hotel all mad and shit because he got made to look like a whole ass beta male in front of his wife. So then he trying to take out his anger on his wife and shit. But this man Yujiro pulls up in the hotel room just out of nowhere. Man is like, hey girl, I came to see you in homeboy's room. So then dude runs over to the phone all scared and shit like, hey yo security, where the fuck y'all niggas at? Somebody come help me. And well, uh, security. Oh. Oh, oh. Them niggas knocked the f out. So old dude pulls a gun on him, but we all know what happens when you try to pull a gun on this nigga. He grabs him with one hand and breaks his neck while still flirting at the same time. And look at her. She liked that. Oh, she a freak. So then he like this. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> dude. <laughs> She's a freak. You talk real quick. I want to break your back so goddamn hard right now. Shit, I might even break your back so goddamn hard I might even kill you one day. Give birth to my child so I can have a worthy opponent in the future. And yeah, uh, that's how Baki was born. So when Yujiro first makes his first appearance in the anime, this man is jumping out of a whole ass helicopter and just blasts himself into a room, not giving a f about property damage at all. So it comes in when Baki was fighting Hanayama. And look at him, bro, with a whole smile on his face. He's like, what's good, nigga? Homie deadass said, good, I made it in time. Looks like you just got started. Y'all niggas only got scratches right now. And the fight is already over. But this man Yujiro's like, nigga, if I don't see blood, the shit didn't even start. Then he just straight up tells Baki, nigga, you soft. And he's just laughing his ass off. So then Hanayama's like, all right, bro, I'll fight you. But my, my nigga, you shouldn't have said that shit. Cause boy, that ass was getting <laughs> Man literally picked up this big ass nigga with one hand and threw him across the floor and just knocks him into the wall. So Baki's like, all right, bro, enough is enough, nigga. So he comes running in just to get that signature back in. Literally spazzed his whole body out. So before he leaves, he picks up Hanayama again and he's like, let me get in one last lick. Then he punches his whole face and to finish the job that he already finished. Then he's like, this was a waste of time. Y'all niggas are sorry, I'm leaving. <laughs> God, yo, this man is actually built different. So then he goes see Emmy's crazy ass. <laughs> she just starts trying to beat him, but he ain't even moving, bro. <laughs> then he just pushes her down, and he's like, B "Bro, this this is hilarious, dude. I I mean, CJ the champ, the most disrespectful creature on earth. I want to see more of this dude's content."
Oh god, is that one piece? Oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. Bitch, I told you to raise my son to be strong as hell. That nigga weak as fuck. So then she tried to shake him, but he was like, cut that shit out. <laughs> Yo, this man is like completely ruined her mind. Like he must have blasted her brains out of something. So after all that goes down, Baki's like, all right, bro, I gotta fight my dad at this point. So the night before the fight, Emmy's like, shit, let me go see what that nigga Yujiro doing real quick. So she's watching this man train in the hotel room, right? So she's like, mm, let me touch up on that nigga. Then he just grabs her whole face and just pushes her back. Look at this nigga. He's like, bitch, the fuck? Don't approach me until I tell you to approach me you better hope to god baki can fight me tomorrow or else your ass is grass to me so she like i'll stay tonight and he said nah bitch get the fuck out <laughs> bro look at her this nigga yujiro has absolutely broken her mind at this point this shit just starts beating up on baki like why won't he love me oh my god i told y'all this bitch was weird she out here beating up her own son because her husband won't love her <laughs> shit my boy baki dude 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 <laughs> this show is so good dude it's so good i mean the netflix one is like even more deranged okay it's even more deranged baki got the most fucked up family i've ever seen shit i don't know who's more dysfunctional at this point the hanmas the mishimas or the skywalkers so then baki and yujiro finally fight but this is literal trash it 100 percent is not trash Is the Netflix one a different story? I don't know. I don't know what the Netflix... There's two Netflix ones. Um, the last one that just came out is like the m more insane one that I've seen. Dear God. No, there's like chatters in here that's like, oh, that's child abuse. Like, dude, it's an anime, okay? He literally one taps a mega elephant, okay? And when I say mega elephant, I mean mega elephant because like the elephant is the size of like multiple dinosaurs, okay? It's like 45 tons. Like, it's just all insane. It's insanity. Nah, bro, this was the worst ass whooping I've probably ever seen. This man was literally eating every single punch he threw at him. Not even moving a muscle. And while he's just standing there, he's literally complimenting everybody for thank you for raising him like this, guys. Y'all actually made him kind of strong. So then this nigga's like, all right, bro, it's time to eat. So he just starts wailing on him. He knocked him out and started beating his face into the ground over and over and over, constantly just beating the hell out of him. And everybody's just watching this like, God damn, it's that nigga own son. So then the mom's like, all right, I've been being weird as f the whole time. This nigga's beating the f out of my son. So then she started trying to swing on you. I mean, it just seems like it's about an unhinged murdering rapist. Yet, yeah, he's not the good guy, dude. He's the bad guy. Yes. I don't know if you know this, but like bad guys in movies, they do bad things. Okay. That's right. You Jiro, but. Dear God, baby girl. So she started biting him and shit. So then Yujiro gives her a whole bear hug and he's like, remember when I told you that one day I might break your back so goddamn hard it might even kill you? Today's the day, bitch. He did a video on why Omni-Man just... has black Air Force activity. Oh my God, this is the greatest channel, dude. This man literally killed his wife and beat the hell out of his son in one night. And after that, he's like, y'all niggas want to have fun too? He just starts beating the hell out of him. Everybody's watching. <laughs> so after he killed his wife and dead ass just beat the fuck out of his son. Yujiro just goes around just doing his daily life, doing his daily activities, just disrespecting people. Homie went up into a boxing gym, started throwing shit around, literally slapping this man's punches away. Throws his ass down and just beats everybody up at the gym. Busted up into the prime minister's office, literally beat the brakes off of his entire security force. And while he was doing this, he took a break and smoked a cigarette. Like, look at them, bro. They surrounded him with riot shields and everything and couldn't do Free shit. Out. Nigga just hit the dash, breaks both of their arms, busts into his office, and he's like, hey, nigga, your security is ass. And also, fuck your ass. And then we go into the next arc and I got Baki's like, bro, I got to get revenge for this dude killing my mom. So when Yujiro's confront Jack, he's like, hey, nigga, you kind of strong. Now fight me, nigga. But then Baki comes in and he intervenes. So then Yujiro's like, Baki's the hero, but he's not talking about Baki. He's talking about the most disrespectful moments in anime history on the main villain of the story of Baki, which is Baki's dad. 
The entire story of Baki revolves around him trying to fight his dad and beat him. Nigga, if you don't get the fuck up out of here, boy, I ain't got time for your soft-ass connections, nigga. And also on the same arc, he fights Dopo, reveals his 1% body fat demon back, beats the living piss out of him, also taking the nigga's eye, and knocked him out standing up. So after all that goes down, Fighting Muhammad Ali, it shows him flicking his son across the planet. <laughs> nigga flying. Then he busts up in Baki's house and he's like, "Hey, nigga, I see you about to do hey, it with yo, your girl and shit." Fuck? Okay. Now when you first see this and you're like, "Oh my god, this is the ultimate cock block." This man is literally standing over them while him and his girl are about to get it on. I remember this. Is this is so. This is the old one. This is the old Netflix one. It's just, it's also deranged, and it's great. You're losing viewers, bro. Oh, fuck, dude. That's crazy, man. Damn, that sucks. I mean, it's been seven hours and 37 minutes since I started streaming, but like, shit, dude. Thanks. Hey, thanks for looking out, brother. I'll just, I guess I'll stop. Deadass encouraging them to do this shit. He's like, yes, Baki. Blow her back out. Blow her back out like I did your mother. It'll make you stronger than ever. And I'm just watching that shit like, did this nigga just really encourage his son to beat the fuck out of her cheeks? Because it'll make him stronger? What in the hell? And Baki's like, bruh, why are you in here, nigga? And yo, this man dead ass says this. You're pretty funny, you know that, kid? A girl sneaks into your room, comes on to you, and you tremble. Oh, no. Don't tell me he watches dubbed anime, dude. Ew, dude. That, oh God, one thing immediately. I think I'm going to have to unsubscribe, dude. I'm sorry. Nope. Hopefully that was just for the... Hopefully that was just for the purpose of this video. Humble with fear. If that's your idea of closing the deal, I'll never be a granddad. <laughs> Yo, this man just took a shot at every single hair and protagonist. So then this man's like, I give you my blessing, then just leaves. So then we cut to this fight with Multibe and Yannick. Now, Multibe has won the fight. He cut off old poison dude's hand and's like, hey, nigga, that's a wrap. Concede. Nigga, you lost. So then just out of the blue, this nigga Yujiro just comes out of nowhere. He's like, hey, nigga, what's cracking? So this man pulls his sword on him like he gonna do something. But then this man Yujiro does the most demoralizing thing I've ever seen in an anime. He started laughing, grabbed his sword, and started breaking it into pieces uh -huh. one by one slowly. Look at this nigga's face. This is just the face of a uh, nigga, I'm fucked. That, that just drains all of your confidence. That is like the biggest you ain't shit thing that you could ever do to someone. Yeah, I'm just kidding. He, anyone who makes this level of like, anyone who makes, uh, comprehensive anime essays they don't wear uh, they don't watch uh dubbed anime no shot somebody so then this man yujiro pulls up on yanagi and he's like hey nigga you lost so then shibukawa pulls up and he's like hey bro what the fuck are y'all doing out here it's late as hell then yujiro's like shit nigga you right i'm tired i'm going home but not at the got your stupid ass yo he just blasted his face homie knocked the f out and just toot it up nigga dead ass <laughs> said you didn't <laughs> lose so up. that meant you were up for my challenge man literally had to get in one lick before he left so then we get to the right tie tournament <sighs> and lord have mercy Ooh, i'm gonna have to censor this part so hard this man ripped off this nigga's <laughs> face he literally dug his fingers into his face and flung that shit and just straight up busted his face then he threw his face into the crowd oh my god that's fucking disgusting but after that homie comes for round two but nigga why would you come for round two against this nigga and then you do it just blasts his dick into his face finally to i guess finish the job i mean the job was already finished but shit he had to finish it again so then he sees baki it's just so stupid like it's awesome do you now understand why i love this show it's so it's just so fucking psychotic. Every part of this. Backstage, he's like, Dad, I think I could take you now. <laughs> this man, Yujiro, was looking at him like, really, nigga? Just throws him through the wall. Man was like, you ain't shit and you still ain't shit. 
So then he fights the old OG for the last fight. And I ain't gonna lie, old OG was landing some punches. Mm. But this nigga Jiro did not care that he was beating the fuck out of a senior citizen. Cause goddamn, he was whooping that ass. I mean, even though that the senior citizen dropped him, homie pulled out that demon back, and there you it was a wrap. Made the motherfucker kick the bucket in the middle of the fight. Somehow that man came back to life. I don't know if they got the Dragon Balls or some shit, but that's one lucky ass OG, I'll tell you that. Well, uh, I guess all the evidence just goes ahead and uh, just proves it that uh, my man Yujiro has finally entered the round table of Black Air Force activity. Like, I think it might be safe to say that this man might be the most disrespectful man in anime history. I mean, he don't care if you man or woman, child or senior citizen. He beating the shit out of your ass. His yeah, hands he beat Muhammad Ali's son. Hands are dead ass ready. I mean, he, he flicked him. For everyone. So yes, he is finally in the round table of Black Air Force activity. Ugh, yo, this video damn near took forever to make. So yeah, uh, that's the most disrespectful moments in anime history too, the Yujiro Hanma special. This man is a certified walking black air force. So yeah, uh, that's it, and uh, I'm out this hoe. Okay, this was really good. This was a really, really good video. Uh, when will you be talking about Qatar, Saudi Arabia, and the UAE sports washing? This guy has been like asking this question for hours, dude. Did I ever say I was going to talk about this? Dude, this is why you can't have fun things, okay? You just can't have fun on this website. I can't. Some other people can, but not me, okay? I'm not allowed. Let's be real. Oof. No fun. Watch the Omni Band video. Okay, Omni Man's the last video I'm gonna look at. There's gonna be there's gonna be spoilers on this. I enjoyed that way too much. Play that again. He loves when he loves slapping. All right, y'all, so I watched Invincible. And after finishing this show, I only got one thing to say, bruh. This man, Omni-Man, has pure Black Air Force activity. Yes, damn it, I said it. J. Jonah Jameson has finally showed us his true power. My God almighty, Peter Parker, your ass best get to stepping. Because J. Jonah Jameson is not playing any more games, bruh. But anyways, yo, this man, Omni-Man, is a pure savage. Like, I have never seen something like this before. And after watching this, I might have to do something, bro. I just might have to put this man in the round table of Black Air Force activity. Now, I know Invincible is not an anime, but pff, shit, we might have to make an exception. So y'all already know I got the evidence on deck. And we will see if this man is worthy to be sat at the round table of Black Air Force activity. But before we start our investigation, let me go ahead and give out that spoiler warning real quick. If you have not seen Invincible, do not watch this video because you will be spoiled. But like, for it's real also though, very if you good. have not seen this show, I highly recommend recommend watching it in all honesty it's one of the best shows i've seen in a minute but anyways <clears throat> so good so fucking good a this man murked the entire bootleg justice league or the guardians of the globe whatever the fuck you want my nigga they the bootleg justice league i mean look at some of these niggas bro we got bootleg flash bootleg wonder woman bootleg batman bootleg aquaman but he's a whole ass musty ass stank ass fish then we got bootleg martian manhunter and then i don't know who the fuck this supposed to be i'm just calling green bitch then we got this nigga i don't know who the fuck this supposed to be either but yo this man omni man it's like a it's like a combination i feel like the avengers and justice league hold every single last one of they asses, dog. Like, look what he did to bootleg Flash, bruh. He crushed his head slowly. And while he was doing that, he was trying to punch him, but he was breaking his hands while doing it. And what makes this worse, this shit probably felt like an eternity for him. So Yeah, dude, this was like, and this just like sneaks up on you out of nowhere, and you're like, what the fuck? 
fuck? It's so brutal. This show is so incredibly violent. He just face plants Walmart woman and he grabs bootleg Batman out of the fucking air and slams his ass on the canvas. And then green bitch just got annihilated. Like he put his whole hand through her face, then used her as a body shield. Then he just collabs Aqua nigga and got his ass ready to be stuffed in a fresh can of tuna. Hey, but Loki though, they did start jumping him though. Fight back, nigga! Fight back, nigga! Fight back! Fight back! But then he rips off Martian Manhunter. Gut checks this nigga so hard he blew his back out. Sent Walmart woman back to the Great Value Isle. And sent this nigga Packer back to Valhalla. So yeah, uh, that's exhibit A. Uh, on to exhibit B. This man destroyed a entire alien. Yeah. So these aliens are attacking Earth and shit, right? So this man, Omni Man, comes in, right? Makes them go back to their portal and retreat. But Omni Man said, fuck that, nigga, y'all ain't going nowhere. So he flew through their portal to their planet and murked the entire civilization. And he did this shit in like the matter of seconds. And to top it off, bruh, they literally made him a portal so he could leave and go back to Earth. But to thank him for that, he decided to drop a big ass rock on their ass then just leave <laughs> bro and the thing is bro in this episode he said something that should have sent off red flags for like everybody you don't seem to understand earth isn't yours to conquer <laughs> <laughs> This man said, Earth isn't yours to conquer. So in my head, I was like, hmm, wait a damn minute. Something ain't right here. But Lord have mercy, bro. This shit was just getting started. But before we go into exhibit C, our final exhibit, we're going to take a little detour real quick. Wait, you didn't notice that after he committed genocide? Because we got a little special exhibit. So without further ado, let's run exhibit S. <laughs> We gotta talk about Battle Beast. All right, I know this is a Omni-Man video, but y'all know damn well I was gonna talk about this nigga. This man is a absolute savage. This dude literally bodied everybody's shit. This dude literally came to Earth only because he thought they had worthy opponents, bruh. Uh, but obviously, uh, them niggas were not worthy for shit. Look how he just bitch slaps Rex, bruh. I enjoyed that shit way too much. Play that shit again. Uh, obviously, if you cannot tell, I do not like Rex. Well, I mean, he ain't as bad as Amber, though. Jesus Christ! Her ass belongs to these streets, bruh. But you know, but you know what? That's for a whole nother video, bruh. But look how he just smacks this nigga, bruh. Sent his ass to oblivion. Dude, the editing this is so good. There is no plot armor in this show at all. And he bathed in his blood, my guy. Oh, Wow. And look at this no power having ass looking nigga right here. Like the fuck is your stupid ass gonna do, dog? You deserve to get your wrist broke. Like you just saw the strongest dude in the room get body. Like what bright idea went through your head when you thought of this? I have no powers. The strongest dude in the room with powers just got body. What should I do? Bull rush his ass. Duh. And then Monster Girl tried to attack him, but he sent her ass to the Shadow Room immediately. And this man got so bored because they were so damn weak, he left. Absolute savagery, bruh. So that was our special exhibit, Exhibit S, and uh, it is time finally to move into Exhibit C. <sighs> Omni man, Omni man, Omni man. Okay, so the entirety of exhibit C is basically the entirety of episode eight. But some stuff happened before that real quick. So some dudes tried to run up on him, but he murdered every single one of them. He broke homeboy's spine. And then the immortal dude came back to life just to get his ass clapped and sent back to Valhalla again. So then we finally figure out what these Viltrumites actually are. They are not like Kryptonians. Everything Omni man said from day one from the jump was a damn lie. These niggas are <laughs> Saiyans. They got a whole ass empire and everything, dog. So after he told all this to his son, he called his wife a pet. What? I do love your mother, but she's more like a a pet. Oh, oh. He called his wife a pet. Oh. And she heard him too. Oh, uh, bro, this actually kind of hurt me a bit, too. I was like, damn, how you gonna call your own wife a pet, G? So after that, he just starts beating the dog shit out of Mark. But then these jets come to, like, what, stop him or something? What the fuck are jets going to do to this nigga? Like, these dudes are literally sitting ducks. So obviously, they get murked. I feel bad for that one dude, though, bro. He got saved and everything. He was like, oh, my God, I'm a live hip hip hooray. You almost killed him. Instead, you saved him. 
So much effort. For what? <laughs> Bro. Hey, yo, RIP the background character 985C, man. Then he decks his ass all the way to the city. And then, oh, bro, 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 the train, the goddamn It's the worst. Tra this is, oh, it's the best part, dude. Train. I'm not going to cap. When I first saw this scene, I started screaming, dog. He used him as a meat shield to literally kill everybody on that train. Oh, bro, bro. This, this scene right here just <laughs> me and all the homies were just sitting on the couch like damn he he really just did that used his own son as a meat shield then he slams his ass through a carnival cruise ship then threw his ass to the arctic caused a whole ass avalanche then this is where the real ass whooping began what 17 more years Duh. i can always start again Duh. make another kid Duh. Duh. this man really said I could always make another kid. Oh my God. How do you tell your son that? Then he just ground and pounded his face until he turned his face into a goddamn piece of meatloaf. And then obviously, of course, we get our world famous meme. You're fighting so you can watch everyone around you die. Think, Mark. Woo. Jesus Christ, bro. Okay, um, y'all, y'all, I'm gonna have to make an exception. Omni Man will be the first outside anime character to enter the round table of Black Air Force activity. I, I, I can't deny this. This is pure savagery on another level. And hell, you know what? I'll have Battle Beast in that hole too. My God, yo. But anyways, um, man, Invincible. This show deserves all the praise, man. I was not expecting this. I thought it was gonna be just a generic ass superhero show. But my God, man, this blew that out the water. So, man, I. I can't wait for season two and three, man. It's, it's gonna be fire, bro. But anyways, y'all go ahead, take it easy, man. Black Air Force activity? What does Black Air Force activity mean? Aw. So. It's robbing shoes. That's what it is. It's when you're hitting devious licks. When you're when you're doing devious shit. This was really good. Man, I'm gonna go ahead and head out. <laughs> it's a, it's a black Twitter meme. Stay out of black people business. I mean, I think that's like a appropriate thing to describe to the white chatters who want to know. Anyway, um, dude, I have a fucking, I have a literal headache. Uh, uh, you already know what it is. You already know what time it is. Okay. It's the ending song time.